What's that? So right now, I park my trailer where I always park it at. But my landing gear, I guess because of the oversaturation of the ground, my landing gear then sunk down in the ground probably, probably six inches, man. This trailer is loaded right now, still. 50,000 pounds, 25 tons. And I can't back under it. That's the problem, as you can see in this shot right here. The trailer done got too low for the, for the, for the tractor. And I don't have an air dump on my truck. There's no way I can lower this frame down to get up under there. And so when I do back up under it right now, um, all it does is just sit right on the edge of the tires. So I gotta figure out a way to get this trailer, this tractor lower down some, which is why we've been digging in the ground right here, trying to dig a, a, a little bit of a trench for the truck to go down in. That don't seem to be working. Or we gotta get this trailer up some six seven inches this trailer with fifty thousand pounds on it i don't know how this gonna work out man but this is how the morning started off hasha Had to bring the big boy up in here, man. Get this trailer lifted up. He ain't lying about that. So, finally got that debacle solved. This dude is about to run the shit out this light. Seriously, Holmes? What the f is wrong with you? All right, so we got that debacle solved. $200 was the cost of getting a tow truck over there to jack the truck, the trailer up. And the lesson learned I don't know, be careful where I drop my trailer. That ain't even a lesson learned because I was careful where I dropped my trailer. That's the same place I dropped my trailer uh, for the last five years, ever since I've been driving a truck. I don't know, man, the ground getting so saturated, I guess with all of the rain and moisture and stuff that the ground is collecting over the years. And uh, I guess it's getting soft over there, so. Maybe the lesson learned is I need to start looking for another place to park my trailer in the evening when I get off. Just one fiasco after another today. The gate won't open to let me up out of this facility now because of all of the, the snow on it. Man, this snow causes a whole lot of extra issues. It's been one heck of a morning for me. Man, the snow. Man, this has been one heck of a morning. <laughs> Jeez, you saw what happened with the trailer. What you didn't see on camera was um, I had a problem getting up to the top of the hill in my truck to back up to the trailer. I, I, that happened before I even realized that the trailer was too low for the, for the truck to get up under. And then I can't get out of this place just now because the gate wouldn't open up. And then also, this is my mistake right here my first time pulling one of these trailers that got this kind of tarp on it with the snow so I got up on top of the trailer to pull my tarp back so I can dump this now and obviously there's snow all on the top of the trailer there's snow all in the tarp which means I can't pull it back so I had to dump this now without pulling my tarp back wasn't a huge issue when the truck was up on the tipper a lot of the snow that was up on the tarp actually fell off anyway but Man, it's just been one issue after another this morning. Putting this mask on this morning. Cause it's cold out here. Are y'all feeling my mask? Run right in the store real quick. A couple years ago, if I go in the store like this, police gonna be in the parking lot. Yo, man, that's the thing about this trucking thing that you gotta remember. Little mistakes 
Little mistakes cost you money. Absolutely. That's why it's hard to count your money in trucking. You never know when you're gonna have to spend some. Maurice Bay, the helpful trucker here. For more helpful CDL tips, go here or consider subscribing to my YouTube channel right here. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but instead you chose to be here with me and I really appreciate that.